Many countries' borders make sense. They follow rivers, mountain ranges or coastlines. But some countries' borders don't seem to make any sense at all. This is Mad Maps, where we look at some of the world's strangest borders, starting with Central Asia. A region that's a gold mine of bizarre borders. Like this one. It's called the Sok Exclave. It's a little piece of Uzbekistan inside Kyrgyzstan, but most of its residents are Tajik. What happened? Back in the day, nomadic tribes and other groups shared the rich Fergana Valley. There weren't really any borders or nationalities. Then, in the 19th century, came the Russian Empire. And soon after, the Soviets. The Soviets really wanted to shake things up. They aimed to create national republics within the USSR. There's just one problem. What nations? The notion was alien to many in the region. So for the next decade, borders were drawn and then redrawn again and again and again. Let's look at the Fergana Valley today. Didn't anyone say, hey, wait, this won't work? Some tried, but the Soviets convinced everyone that those funny borders wouldn't get in anyone's way. And they mostly didn't until the Soviet Union collapsed and the stands became independent. So where do we stand today? Well, take this part of Kyrgyzstan. Uzbekistan often closes the road connecting the Barak exclave to the rest of Kyrgyzstan. So residents get stuck, unable to attend weddings or funerals or visit friends and family in their own country. And border clashes are common. In March, violence on the Tajik-Kyrgyz border resulted in two deaths. It was all connected to construction on a Kyrgyz road that crosses this Tajik exclave called Voruk. In July, also around Voruk, one Tajik man was killed and seven were wounded. The violence erupted because local Tajiks wanted to fly their national flag along a road, which angered Kyrgyz villagers. Which all goes to show that strange borders are much more than fodder for trivia questions. In some cases, they are a source of inconvenience, and in other cases, consistent conflict or even national security issues which we'll discuss in the next episode on India's so-called chicken neck. <laughs>